book and when I came to you that night. My first heartbreak and I was only a little girl, but if the heart can love, then surely it can break. I knelt on bony knees thinking of all the mistakes that had brought me to this place, then thinking about it now, imperfection receives grace. I thought I understood it, but really I had no idea. I put my brave girl face on, but I was paralyzed with fear. If God is here, why didn't he hear? If God is love, why didn't he reach out and touch my daddy and heal him? You see, I was 14 and pushed to the extremes of watching my father die, yet with faith that should have moved a mountain, I prayed for a miracle every night, that there would be healing that would awaken in everyone a praising of God's name and a turn of events that would put the enemy to shame, but... Perhaps I was a little broken when I came to you that night. A little girl sitting in the passenger seat of a car, daddy pulling over, walking meters away to throw up in the grass, hoping I didn't see him. But looking through a side view mirror that showed the back, looking through glassy eyes, I did see him. I saw hair fall out, I saw weight come down, I saw bones stick out, I saw tears fall down, but never in front of me, no. The tears never fell in front of me. Yet somehow I could etch the crying heart of a man in a vegetated state, looking at me like a stranger, but deep down he knew my face, and I never stopped believing in what you could do. But what you could do, and what you would do, are the difference between your ability and your will. And as you willed, so you did. So perhaps I was a little broken when I came to you, but I came to you because I knew that healing would come through, and it wasn't my daddy who needed it, that he had already received. It was a broken-hearted little girl, Abba Father. It was me, seeking understanding that was never meant to be mine, but if you're always seeking understanding, peace you will never find. Remembering, not remembering, your plans are not my plans, and your ways are not my ways, and Miss Forbes said God is good because God is God, but she testified that day. So it's not just death, it's not passing away, what it is is passing on. And there's no sting in losing him because you gave your son. There's no malice when you express your will, always out of the purest love. No malice when you express your will, always out of the purest love. And so I continue in peace, knowing death we shall meet. But we have been promised a life of eternity beyond. Thank you.